Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our December 2018 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Pisces. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we'll take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Whoa, what a powerful month for you we have here. Well, we start out the beginning of the month with you being overburdened, overworked. This Ten of Wands, he's carrying all these wands, okay? He's exhausted. He's exa It's been an exhausting year for all of us. And this card is telling me that maybe it's time you delegate some tasks, especially now with it being the holiday season where we're trying to do so much. You're feeling very overwhelmed at the beginning of December, very overwhelmed. And you have a serious need for balance here. I know myself, I take on too much all the time, but I, I realize that, you know what? Not everything could get done every day, and it's just going to have to wait. I try to prioritize things the best I can and do what I can. Otherwise, you could work yourself to exhaustion. Then you end up sick. Then you end up in the hospital, and you're not going to be good for anybody, not even yourself. So we want to watch in the beginning of the month of feeling overwhelmed like this and taking on too much because by the middle of the month is exactly what you need to do. How perfect this advice is. The Four of Swords is telling you to relax, okay? We can't just keep operating on hyperspeed. And my Pisces friends have hearts of gold. They would give you the shirt off your back. They are the most accommodating, sweetest, most loving people that I know in all of the Zodiac. And they are always there for people always there for people. I think they do entirely too much for other people. They should start being selfish and do more for themselves because Pisces deserve it. They're the best people. And this here is telling you, you need to rest. You need to recharge. You need to relax. Trust me, you don't want to end up with burnout during this holiday season because you're not going to be able to enjoy friends or family or any kind of relationships feeling burnt out and exhausted. So heed this warning. Maybe have a spa day. Maybe start taking a nap if you can, okay? Maybe sit in meditation before you begin your day for at least five minutes. We could all squeeze five minutes because it's when we're too busy to meditate that we need the meditation the most, okay? So we want you to get some type of rest here to recharge, to get yourself grounded, okay? Take care of yourself for once. Don't worry. Everybody else could take care of themselves. You think about you. Some self-care here in the middle of the month. Recharge yourself from all this draining and, and overwhelm that took place in the beginning. Because at the end of the month, things are going to change. We have the Tower card. And I love the Tower card. Most people don't like the Tower card. They see a tower with these flames raging in the dark sky. And it looks so ominous and scary. To me, the Tower is a blessing in disguise. The tower means that something is going to change. Something is going to suddenly end at the end of December, and this is something that you need not fear. It's something that maybe you should have removed from your life, and maybe you just didn't have the heart to. Maybe you thought things would change, things would get better. We give people and things other chances that maybe sometimes we shouldn't. This tower is gonna to end something at the end of December, and it's going to remove something that's not for your highest good. It's going to make room for something that's going to be bigger and better and more positive. Once this tower comes crashing down, this shaky structure, okay, there's going to be a firm, solid foundation left that you could build another relationship on, that you could build some type of a structure that's going to be stronger than the one that's being removed. Things have to be removed from our life to make room for something that's going to be more suitable and that's going to be right for us. So have no fear. At the end of December, something will be ending. It's going to be for your benefit, okay? And it may shake you up a bit, but now you don't have to be worried. You'll anticipate whatever's going to end is going to end. This way it doesn't take you off guard, right? These have been the most positive things that have ever happened in my life. Things that had to leave my life 
in order for me to be able to find something so much better. But if I clung to something like this that really needs to go, I was holding myself back. So whatever it is, release it. Let it go. And this is the perfect time at the end of December. So you could start the new year on a more positive and firm foundation. So if it's a relationship, if it's a job, if it's a friendship, let it go. This is the universe looking out for you. Trust me. What an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.